According to reports, the marketing director at an exclusive hotel around the corner from Meghan and Harry's mansion, where Audrey Hepburn, Winston Churchill and JFK were guests, is their new office chief. Harrison Colcord worked at the San Ysidro Ranch, where rooms are between $2,600 and $4,000 a night. And Harry did his incendiary TV interviews with Anderson Cooper and Tom Bradby in January to promote Spare. Mr. Colcord appears to have left San Ysidro Ranch in a role as Director of Sales and Marketing a month later, with no new job listed on her LinkedIn. She's now working for Harry and Meghan after publishing a PR letter from the couple, thanking for a free bike for Archie's birthday. Harrison Colcord recently also revealed to her friends in San Ysidro that Meghan decided to get her own permanent hotel suite. Meghan chose the one across the street from a talent agency, WME. There's been rumours that she's after a high up at WME, who's Lauren Sanchez's ex. It would put her in the orbit of Bezos. Of course, there are no kids living there with her. While Prince Harry is said to stay at San Vicente bungalows, she needs another man to mooch off, since this one isn't working out so well. It's not like she can do it without a man, it's been her modus operandi since she began a clambering to the top. Top of the casting couch, that is. Moreover, the scam of the children is slowly being revealed. They don't exist. Megan is also alleged to have exploited the image of August, Eugene's son, to Photoshop images of both Archie and Lilibet. Archie's rare Christmas photo was the edited version of August. Some photographers say Archie's image may have been photoshopped. Meg may have changed her eyebrows and used other image editing software to edit Archie's face to look different from the original August. Taking August's photo will free Meghan from everyone's suspicions. She thinks people will believe that it's natural, as Eugene's child and Harry's child are alike because they share the same genes. But it's weird as according to Harry and Meghan in the Netflix show, Lily looks just like the Spencers, even though August is not related to the Spencers at all. This isn't the first time that Meghan has been implicated in accusations of editing other people's children to look like Archie or Lily. Sometimes Gavin Gingras is also used to replace. The Markle's kids look different in every photo, their hair changes colour constantly. No one believes Lily even exists and they think Archie is someone else's child. The revelation is given by some friends close to Meghan's staff, Harrison Colcord. Harry and Meghan's offices and businesses have been described as a revolving door. The Sussexes have reportedly lost 16 staff since 2018. However, they didn't officially launch the Archwell organisation and its related businesses until late 2020. The resort in Montecito, which hosted Winston Churchill and where JFK and Jackie Anassis honeymooned, was also where Harry's wife Meghan Markle's Variety magazine photo shoot and interview were filmed last October, where she described the couple's life and how they were grieving the Queen's death. In her role as Director of Sales and Marketing, Harrison Colcord would likely have helped facilitate those events and potentially spent time with them and other members of the Archwell team.